guys have retooled quite a bit over the last few years as far as organizational structure, your leadership team. You've done a you've done a, a massive rebrand that was put into place what a couple of years ago and is still being rolled out to all the stores. I'm guessing that's not an easy process when you have as many locations as you do. It just doesn't the switch doesn't flip overnight. Um, talk to me about why this all started happening with the rebrand and the leadership transition. Was there a point where you were like, um, sometimes you need to hit a hit a bottom point to really actually be motivated to make a change. Did something happen to spur all of that? I don't know if it was any one thing. I, I in my from my perspective, when I was, uh, and this was probably six six years ago now, uh, when we were looking at the brand, maybe even a little bit more than that. But you know, looking at the brand, it, it was you know. 40 years old or, you know, just over 40 years old, had those classic legacy issues, tired stores, uh, needed to maybe reevaluate some of the support center team and have, um, and just really take an honest deep dive of the brand and, th- and, and then say, well, all right, we can, we're doing well. I mean, the company was getting sales, you know, it's still profitable, still could do things in the community, but you know, and that would have been fine to say, you know what, we're good, we're going to stay on the path. But we felt that if we really wanted to ignite growth, uh, re-engage in a more meaningful way with the communities, um, where our stores are, we really needed to, to uh, update the brand. And that's where it began. So, uh, pro- you know, we started with this branding relaunch that you mentioned. And it's a, but it's a time, it's an overtime process that's not overnight because we also have franchisees so while we own about 25 percent of our locations that means that the rest are owned by owner operators or people doing business as a cousin subs so with that there's contracts and there's and then it's about communicating those expectations so realizing that it wasn't only about corporate stores getting remodeled because it's a significant investment it was really about walking the franchisees getting them across the bridge to say this is why it's going to be really important for you to reinvest in your business and it's not only because the brand will benefit but we believe your business will benefit as well so that's been happening and that will continue to happen until all the stores are remodeled but that was one of the biggest things that launched that because it's the most obvious to the guest when they walk into a new restaurant or a brand you know a remodeled restaurant or a brand new restaurant they'll see that it's different we can talk about our brand values we talk about our foundation we talk about our cuisine philosophy we can talk about our history which people really like as well because they don't really know well what is the story of cousins and and then particularly in this market they're very surprised when they realize oh it was started here that's Mm -hmm. pretty cool so it is a local company and they can and people can feel pretty good about supporting that.